How are you doing? Hi guys, welcome to another math lesson with Mr. Whitford. Today we're gonna to be diving into unit two, lesson two, where we're gonna be talking about multiplying integers, this time with word problems, right? Um, I know word problems can throw us off a lot, but the good thing is the bell work to start us off is gonna give you a nice foundation and what words to look for when you're reading word problems. So let's dive right in. Once again, if you are joining us online and you need access to the worksheet, feel free to print it out from Google Classroom. Um, but we're looking at lesson 2.2, where we're talking about multiplying integers, uh, same sign, different signs. This is specifically focused on word problems. Let's do it. Take this time to look at the bell work with me. As usual, pause the video if you need to. Uh, that way you're able to uh, write out a list of words that represent the four different operations. So we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. What words do you know that go with each one of these operations? Okay. So take a moment, pause the video, and try to write down as many words as you can. Cool. All right, now I'm going to write out a list of a couple words that came to mind for me, words that I feel are important in some of these operations. But please don't feel like you have to erase the ones that you have because um, they are good. They're probably really good words. I may not write them down, but it doesn't mean that they're not in the right category. All right, so just to start off with the word uh, uh, Obviously, you can write the word add underneath addition, but I'm going to go with the word sum, right? The word sum indicates addition. Uh, another word that indicates addition is added to. Um, what else do I have here? Plus. Plus is a famous one, right? Um, and there's many more, many more for addition. Uh, subtraction. I'm going to write the word less than. All right. Now, this word to me is an important word. Uh, and that's why I want to make sure I start off with it. And I'm going to come back to it after we write more here. Less than, um, minus, difference. And this is just a few. And you can have a lot more than just this, okay? Uh, let's go to multiplication. Multiplication, I want to write the words triple. Right, tripled, doubled. Uh, just so you guys are aware that the word triple means three times something, the word double means two times of uh, something. Uh, of course, you have the word product, right? Notice I wrote product here, which is the answer to multiplication, the word uh, sum, which is the answer to addition, and difference, which is the answer to subtraction. So if I go to division, then I need to make sure I put the word quotient, okay? Quotient is the answer to division. Of course, you have other words like half, um, the word per, and the word per actually is like, it can be for multiplication or it can be for division. Um, and let's just stop there, all right? These are words here that indicate these operations. And once again, please don't feel like if you didn't include these words or you have other words outside of these, and, and there's great, greater than, less than, there's a lot more that you could put here. But um, I want us to focus on, um, the word less than for a moment. I, I, I specifically wrote it here because there are words in subtraction that when you read them in the word problem, it does something different. Yes, the word less than does mean subtraction, but when it comes to this word in a word problem, you might be, uh, you might not have to, you may not be able to translate it straight across. You're going to need to be able to flip the meaning. I think I may have mentioned this before, but I'm just saying it again. So if it's your first time joining us, remember the word less than, it means I'm switching the two. Now, this particular worksheet that we're looking at here will not have less than on it. As I said, this is a multiplying worksheet. So we're gonna be looking at words that really indicate multiplication. But um, I just wanted to make sure I recap that for you. All right, so let's take a moment. Let's look straight into the modeling and let's dive in. Let's dive in. Um, it says here, Flora made seven withdrawals of $75 each from our bank account. What was her overall change in her account? So we're talking about real life money. We're talking about this person named Flora. They're going to the bank. They're going to get some cash money. Uh, and it says here withdrawals, okay? This is one of those math words, but it's also a real life word. Um, and it means to take out. It means to take out, all right? Now, even though the word take out sounds like subtraction, it does, but in this case, it's gonna indicate a negative. It's gonna indicate a negative because overall, we wanna figure out how much does her bank account change by, it changed by a certain amount of money. 
So she took out seven of these, seven amounts of $75, okay? So what does that mean? That means if I were to take $75 and I do that 75 times, you'll, uh, 75, $75 seven times, you don't know how much money she took out. Instead of doing addition though to figure that out, this word could indicate the word of that's here, indicates multiplication. Seven of something else. So seven of 75 means I need to do seven times 75, okay? Seven times 75 is gonna give us the actual number in terms of how much was taken out from this uh, particular account, all right? Uh, and just give me one second. Let me just quickly do that math right now. So that way we're on the same page. I know I'm looking for my phone because I know that's what we use for calculators when we were just quickly grabbing stuff. Seven times 75 is 525. Okay, so that's going to give us 525. Now, this is money we're talking about. So you can put a money sign in front of this. Okay, but what was the overall change in our account? Now, I could leave that as that, but I'm actually going to put her account changed by $525. And I'm going to put a negative symbol there. I'm putting a negative symbol because that came out of her account. It's no longer in her account. It indicated that there was actually a negative. So if I wanted to, I can indicate here that. Um, I can maybe put this as a negative 75 for one, two. Think 75 was coming out, withdrawal, take out of her account. So my answer here, if you wrote it in words, her account changed by $525, that's okay. If you put negative 525, that's okay as well. As long as there's an understanding that you realize her account is changing by that amount of money, it's not gaining that amount of money, that's the biggest thing. Okay. When we're reading the word problems that you have below, try to identify what words might be negative words that may indicate a negative symbol or may indicate a positive. So for example, just looking ahead, I see the word lost in number one, that's a negative word. That means that there's a minus five possibly attached there, right? The word dropped, that's a negative word. That means negative two in that case there, okay? Take your time as you read the words. As you see, I'm underlining, as you see, I highlight, I'm trying to get the most out of these word problems so that way I'm not, I can focus and zoom in on the most important information, okay? Take your time, read the word problems carefully. And if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to um, message me on uh, Google Classroom and I would love to answer your question or you can join me for extra help as well. So thank you so much for joining me for another math lesson with Mr. Wilford. Enjoy your day.